Did you know that most Scotch whiskies, even most single malts, are colored with what's called spirit caramel to make them look darker? They're artificially colored. All the natural color in a whiskey comes from the oak, but it is sadly, in my view, traditional in the Scotch whiskey industry to use spirit caramel, or E150A as it's called in the industry, to make whiskies look darker. People think dark equals old and old equals better, but it's not always the case, even when you're talking about natural colored whiskies. But when you're talking about whiskies that have been colored artificially, color really can tell you nothing about, um, uh, about a whiskey. Let me show you how it works. I've got some poured out onto a plate here. Um, it is you know, kind of like, looks kind of and smells a little bit like molasses, has a consistency of molasses. There is a glass of the Peat Monster in all its natural color glory. And I'll show you just what this stuff can do. In a matter of just seconds, I can turn this lovely American oak aged whiskey into something that looks like it's been a, a sherry butt for 30 years. <laughs> That's how fast the stuff works. We've got these old books. This book there on the, on the counter was originally published in the 1880s with advertisements from suppliers to the Scotch whiskey industry selling spirit caramel. So it's gone on for a long time. Back then, you know, used in many cases by unscrupulous producers trying to sell off unaged spirit as aged spirit. That doesn't happen so much anymore today, but people do sell aged spirit and they darken it up to try to make it look more, more flavorful, make it look older. We don't do it at Compass Box. Never have, don't intend to ever do it. Great King Street, our signature range, our limited editions, never use spirit caramel um, because we believe, you know, whiskey's a natural product. A grain, water, yeast, and oak. Why would you muck around with that?